Hi, Zoe. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, I want to thank you for coming in, taking the time out of your day to um, make make a, a, a growth step towards something that you've been wanting to um, add on to your lifestyle. So let's let's talk about that for a little bit. What what is something in your life that you've been wanting to target or maybe improve on, enhance, so, uh, maybe diminish something that an adjustment that you think will better yourself that you've been wanting to do or something along those lines. It's a very um, broad question. So I want you to take your time with it. Well, I'm preparing to go to grad school <clears throat> and lately I've been noticing that my free time is, I'm a really busy person so I notice that my free time is spent on my phone just relaxing and scrolling through social media yeah. <clears throat> and I'd really like to spend the summer using my free time to better myself or prepare myself for grad school and to really like focus on enriching my mind rather than focusing in on social media and things like that so I want to for example I maybe want to read more or um, I don't know maybe read the newspaper keep up with current events mm -hmm. um, yeah things like that when are you starting graduate school exactly? September 18th. September 18th, and it is it is April. So you have quite some time. Yes, you I have, have a, a long summer. You have a very long summer. That's good for you. You have a long time to to get at these things that you've been thinking about. So uh, let's go back to uh, you mentioned you wanted to read more, right? So once upon a time, would you say you were a, a big reader? I was a huge reader and elementary school and middle school and even the beginning of high school before things got really crazy I would read all the time I'd read one book in like a day two days oh my gosh. get so really into them <laughs> yeah and I really liked it and I even still to this day remember those books that I was reading and I just want to mm -hmm. really get into that again so what that's beautiful so what that being said what about what about reading? If you could think back to those times when you were reading uh, whatever books you were reading in the series, what what made you happy about it? What what brought on the feelings? What, what feelings do you want to recreate again? What 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 about it made you happy and did you want to bring out again? Well, I feel like anyone who reads a book, you feel accomplished when you finish one, and Certainly. there were books where I would learn things, and I mean, I don't really. I'm not really into nonfiction reading. I really like fictional stories, so yeah. maybe I don't know the feeling of like just being so immersed in the story and just forgetting. It's like a, it's honestly stress relieving. I think just like forgetting about everything that's going on and just like focusing in on the story that's happening and finishing it is a sense of accomplishment. Certainly, it's definitely a way to let your mind escape from the current stressful times. Mm -hmm. um, High school and college, more so college, are certainly more stressful times than when we were younger. And I agree. I could, I've, <clears throat> I've noticed that a lot, of, uh, very often, people around those ages, students, tend to decrease the amount of time that they spend reading. Yeah, and I feel like I could benefit, especially now, from reading more and being busy. I just haven't set aside the time to do so. Mm -hmm. Have you, have you uh, had any time throughout college and high school to, uh, to have any leisure reading time? No. I can probably count on one hand how many books I've read for my enjoyment. That's not including books I've read for school, which some I've really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. But, that was yeah, a, that I've, been, I've been such a busy person with so many extracurricular activities and heavy workload for class and now in college I also have a job and I just haven't had time. What, what are some of the extracurricular activities that, um, that you believe have taken up so much of your time? Um, well in high school I was a big dancer, mm -hmm. dance team, dance classes after school and after practice so that really took up most of my time and then here in college I was also on the dance team. We were part of the marching band, so we had to practice with them too. Um, work. Um, 
my sorority, things related to that, going home for the weekend to see my family. Would you say you're even busier during your college years than high school years? Oh, for sure. Yeah, because you got the work. You got work mm -hmm. and then the sorority, and then plus your dance, too. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. A, lot, definitely a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So now, do you still do those activities? Do you, are you still taking do you, do They've you, died down now, so now is the time where I really feel like it really gave me a chance to step back and notice that this is something that I want to start to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Given all this free time. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, because college is coming to an end, right? Yeah, and I have a At long least you're undergraduate. summer <laughs> with only work planned so far. Um, do you know what type of work you want to do over the summer? Um, I'm still kind of looking. I'm thinking something along the lines of waitressing. Maybe something with childcare, nannying. Mm -hmm. um, I've been looking into a special ed assistant position at the high school that is like an extended school year mm -hmm. assistant. They stay like an extra six weeks and have assistance there. So maybe something like that. Yeah, you're still going to keep yourself pretty kind of waiting, yeah. But it's not a very strenuous business. It's no. more so just go in, do your job, yeah. help out others, and get out. Mm -hmm. the days save here. up some money for well, grad school of course it's going to be a busier time you won't be able to work as much yes for sure um, so so along with the free time that you want in your free time you want to incorporate reading a lot were there any other things that you were thinking you maybe wanted to throw on your schedule some things you've been wanting to tackle over these past few years any, any adjustments um, how else did you think um, you want to spend your free time I'm thinking maybe I want to, in order to do these things that I want to get done, like reading and uh -huh. keeping up with current events, um, I'm thinking over the summer I'll be able to have more of like a structured routine. Um, I'm definitely someone who likes routine, so like maybe like if I have more of a set schedule, like work at the same time every day, like now I have class at various times during the day, so it's hard to get into that kind of routine. So if I have work at relatively the same time every day, maybe I can wake up and plan to watch the news or <clears throat> read the newspaper and then maybe read a little bit of my own book and set a specific time where I'll exercise to make sure I get that done every day, which I think I'm pretty good about, but it's very variable now. That's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff you want to throw in your free time. Mm -hmm. it, it seems pretty manageable, though. I think so. You seem like a person who has been very good at juggling many things in her daily schedule throughout yes. her young lifetime. I'm definitely someone who needs to be busy to get stuff done, I think. And you're, you're a flexible person. Mm -hmm. I would say so. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I wanted to get to something. I wanted to bring out <clears throat> a little tool that I have. For my, uh, I, I give this to my clients to help them open up a little bit, explore some thoughts that they, that they may have not touched on in some time. Um, it's a Wheel of Life questionnaire, and I wanted to use this with you um, to touch on a few more things that we may have not been able to tackle. And then we can, and then we can expand on top of those as well throughout the course of this. Okay. Through this interview that we have together. So let me give you a pen. So I'm going to ask you some questions. And throughout the course of this, I'm going to ask you to mark on there how you rate yourself with that certain area, okay? Okay. Um, what, how I rate myself in terms of what? In terms of the category that we're discussing. Okay. Um, so let's start with the first category. Uh, this is relating to money. I want you to describe the stress, if you have any, you experience around the issue of money. Describe your relationship with money. Um, are you stable, unpredictable, volatile, rewarding, frustrating? Um, just give me your thoughts on that on that statement. You want me to read it? No, not quite yet. Okay, just, quite just talk about it? Yeah, we'll talk about it first. Um, well, I think I'm very motivated to make my own money. Mm -hmm. I don't have the best job that allows me to do that, but I have 
giving parents, which have helped me out with that. But I think aside from that, I'm motivated to make my own and I set up, set aside time to work and seek out a job and spend my summers working in order to save up for the school year where I'm more busy and can't work as often and don't have as well paying of a job, mm -hmm. etc. You sound very motivated to be independent. I am. So I you, can't wait to have my own job. <laughs> you've got the mindset and you, you have uh, you have the pathway set, set for you. Now it's just time for you to walk it. Um, yeah, after school, for sure. So that being said, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, may, how motivated are you to change or develop this aspect of your life, the money aspect of your life, on that scale? Just mark it, whatever you think. Want me to say it? Yeah. Out of ten. You're out of ten? Yes. That's awesome. That sounds like you're out of ten. I would agree with you. Um, your words match match that rating for sure. Um, so if you are up for some improvement, what is one small action you could take this week to either find out more about changing in this area or to actually make a small behavior change? Um, with its money. Maybe further do something to try and figure out my job for the summer. Like awesome. Reach out to the people I've been talking to again if I'm still waiting on answers. Be um, sure. adamant about getting answers from them or yeah, that's definitely figuring it out with them. That's definitely a long-term move. I think that would be very helpful. Maybe even uh, anyone could say saving up, but that's like that'll, that'll last you months. Yeah. It's going to get you the job. I hope so. Okay, let's move on to the next section. So this is relating to your health and well-being. I want you to describe any health challenges that you currently face. Describe the level of health you want to experience five years from now. Um, I don't think I'm facing any struggles right now. No. I think I'm motivated to go to the gym every day, eat healthy, get enough sleep to better myself, to like feel my body. And so I would say just from five years from now, I want to keep that up, especially with grad school. I think it's going to be really, really busy, yeah. and I'm going to have to set aside time at the end of my day when <clears> I'm really <throat> tired or in the morning. How, how long is your graduate program, if you don't mind me asking? Um, just shy of two years. It's seven quarters. Okay. So, uh, so uh, from fall of 2018 to spring of 2020. All right. So in roughly two, two and a half years, you'll be, you'll be working. Yes. Awesome. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll be less stressful then, in terms of uh, to manage this aspect of oh, your life. Oh, definitely, yeah. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how motivated are you to change, develop, uh, change, develop, or maintain this aspect of your life? I think 10. Is it 10? Yeah. It's awesome. Health um, is always something I've of course. focused on, being health. a dancer, and One. I was really in tune with my, like, how I'm feeling, and you had how uh, exercise affects me so you was you are and you were a very zenful person with your body it seems like yes i think so <clears throat> um so if you are up for some improvement what is one small action you could take this week to either find out more about changing in this area or to actually make a small behavior change with related to your health and well-being mm. this week yeah what's like the most immediate thing you could do if you were to make um, one first step to maintaining. To maintaining? Yeah, or, or developing. It has to be a change. It doesn't have to be. If you feel like you're already hitting this goal. Um, what do you do every week? What do I do? Why do you do what do you do to maintain this goal that you've been uh, keeping up? Uh, I just well, I feel like just keeping on reminding myself how like good I feel after a workout because I feel like sometimes I can get lazy and it'll be a little harder to get myself to the gym. But if I just keep reminding myself how good I feel afterwards and in the long run how it'll better me, my heart, my body, just keeping on reminding myself of that, drinking more water. It's all, it's all these little things, yeah. and once we identify them, which, which is where we're here right now, we're here to point out the little things, so you can keep those in mind every week, and which is, it seems like you already do, but it's good to talk about them mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Okay, move on to the next section. 
uh, this is relating to friends and family. Do your friends and family support you and meet your emotional needs? How fulfilling are you? Uh, how, how fulfilling are your, are your relationships with your fr family and friends? I think they're pretty fulfilling. I would say I'm definitely closer to my family than I am to my friends, but that mm -hmm. I still have a really good relationship with all my friends. I live with most of them. Like my closest ones are the ones I live with. Um, Everyone's really supportive when I have trouble or something worrying me. I feel really comfortable going to them to talk, and mm -hmm. they offer really good advice, some more than others, but they're all always willing to listen. No one will turn you, me away. Do you feel like you almost feel like they're your family away from your from the real family? Yeah, definitely. Like a second family, right? Yeah, they make living at school definitely easier. While you're here 200 miles away from home. Yeah. It helps out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how motivated are you to change, develop, or maintain this aspect of your life? Do you like the relationships that you have now? Do you want to improve on them a little bit? Do you feel like there's room for improvement? I definitely think there's room for improvement. But I'm really, mo is the question on how motivated I am? Yeah, to improve. I think I'm really motivated to improve. I feel like I'm feeling more motivated to improve my friendships with my friends at home. Mm -hmm. Because when I'm home for the weekend or for a break, I really am focusing on spending time with my family and my boyfriend. And everyone has such a busy schedule that it's really hard to see them. But we still talk on the phone and text. But I feel like I could show more of an effort to see them when I'm home. You feel so like that's you something that I want to, be re to continue to be motivated to like improve your, those relationships. Like your home friends, right? Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Like my high school friends. Um, when, when did you start to notice that, you be, that you're becoming more distant from them? Um, probably after the first year of being away at school because everyone's making their own friends and we're coming home at different times. And yeah, it's definitely not withering away, but I would say that it's something that I noticed that I could be a little more like a, show a little more effort to do yeah like a, like a tendency to show them that you're still there for them yeah okay um all right so let's move on to the next section uh this is related to your own personal growth and development do you invest enough time energy and money in your own growth and development including spiritual development Um, I would say so. Yeah. I'm a little bit confused. Can you elaborate on this section? Sure. So this is, um... Is this just kind of like overall? Or like a general yeah, this section? Yeah, this is a very broad section. So let's, we, we already talked and spoke about the money and, uh, the money part and the time and energy section. So let's, let's, let's target your, your spiritual self. Do you feel like... You, do you feel, how, how would you describe your spiritual, uh, do you think you're in tune with your spiritual side of your, your body, your mind? Is this like religion? It could be religion, it could be how you look, uh, how you look out of life. Yeah, okay, so I think I'm a really positive person, mm -hmm. and I, most of the time, like to look at the bright side of things, not everyone can do that all the time, but... Yeah. When I start getting negative, I like to try to think of the positive, and I think my religion helps me do that. Um, my family likes to go to church a lot. It, I feel like it gives me hope and find peace and serenity mm -hmm. when you go to church. Yeah, definitely. So I think that's an area that I'm pretty good at. I definitely could go to church more, which would probably help my spirituality. Mm -hmm. That's always something that. Just being away here, it's You're so not busy. an excuse because there's a church here that I could go to, but yeah. it's definitely something that I would like to improve on, and I could improve on more so than the other sections we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking about it, um, people tend to neglect the spiritual side of their life, especially when they're in this stage of their life, the college years. They're away from their family and Usually it's been with their family is when they 
uh, target or address or learn about the spiritual side of their, their mind and how they want to view their life. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times people take hold uh, of that by themselves and they maybe drift away to a different spiritual aspect that's not related to their family. But it seems like you're pretty close to, uh, you're, you're tied pretty closely to how you were raised and how you were taught and it's, you stuck with that belief and that's good. Yeah, my beliefs have stayed the same. And, and you've held on to it throughout these years, it seems like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how motivated would you say you are to developing this aspect of your life? To improving your spiritual life? 10. So you're at a 10? Yeah. Oh, I'm pretty motivated. <laughs> okay. Um, so what is one small action that you think you could take this week to either find out uh, more about changing in this area or to actually make a small behavioral change that relates to your spiritual life? This week? If you were to make one small thing this week. I could go to church on Sunday. I could make it a goal to go more often with my family when I'm home. Mm-hmm. I could continue focusing on staying positive um, being thankful for what I have. That's great. Does that answer the question? Yeah, of course. This is all very sub- subjective to you. That's how you feel. Um, okay, let's move on to this next section. This is related to your significant other slash romance, if you have any. Uh, we'll explore this area. Are you at peace with this aspect of your life? Are your emotional needs being met in this aspect of your life? Yes, they are. I feel like um, trust and respect are really important in a relationship and those are the things that are most important for me in a relationship and those things are being really being met of course it's tough to it's tough to maintain mental stability with a significant other when those aspects are not being met yeah and we do we're long distance we don't go to the same school so Mm -hmm. I think we both do a really good job of making time to spend quality time with one another, visiting each other. Um, When we do spend time, we are really invested in each other's company, and we do fun things together, make good memories. Um, You guys seem to be very, very in tune with each other's other's mindset. Yeah, I think so. There's definitely more to learn about each other always, but I feel like... We've done a really great job of that so far. On a scale of 1 to 10, on this wheel, I want you to let me know how motivated are you to changing, developing, um, and letting this aspect of your life grow? 10. You're at 10? Yes. Okay. Um, If you are up for some improvement, what is one small action you could take this week? to find out more about changing this area or to actually make a small behavior change. Can you rephrase that? <clears throat> so it's related to your significant other or the romance that you have together. What is one act what 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 is one thing that you think you might be able to do this week to to continue to establish this romance that you have to work on and improve. I think I can building, like, building block down. continue to show my appreciation and really focus on showing that appreciation and um, hmm. okay, that's, it's hard because we don't go to the same school. It is tough. Um, take more time out of my day to maybe make a call during the time we don't usually talk mm-hmm. or yeah something like that sounds like you would like that um, all right let's move on to this next section fun and recreation so do you think you invest enough time 
uh, energy or money in having fun um, and recreating yourself? Do you allow yourself to adequately value and utilize fun and recreation to re-energize and revitalize yourself? Basically, do you do you take do you think you take enough time out of your day, out of your week, your weekly schedule, to enjoy yourself, to enjoy your time wherever you are? Now that my schedule has died down, I think now more so than the rest of the year, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I've really been now that. I'm about to graduate. I've really been trying to spend quality time with my friends, go out to dinner, uh, watch a movie together, just like sit, talk, and enjoy our time living together. Yeah. Now more so than ever before because mm -hmm. I'm seeing the end being so near. That's scary. Yeah, it definitely is. But I think we're all doing a really good job of trying to enjoy each other's company you're while trying, it lasts. You know, you're trying to enjoy every every last minute that there is, right? Yeah. You want to make the most out of your memories of mm -hmm. this school. I do. College is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree with you. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm -hmm. how, motiv how motivated are you to change, developing, or maintaining this aspect of your life? Um, 10. Yeah. It sounds like you are. It sounds like you've already been doing it. I think so. Now that I have the time before, I definitely could. I would say I wasn't as motivated at the beginning of the year because I'd be so tired at the end of my day. And I would just want to relax. Now, watch, now, now's the time to touch up on Watch TV, yeah. Now I'm, now I'm going to make up for it. <laughs> um, if you are up for some improvement, what is one small action you could take this week? To either find out more about changing in this area or to actually make a small behavior change in terms of fun in your life? I think when I'm feeling tired and lazy and just want to lay in my bed, I could get up and go into one of my friends' rooms and just like hang out or go for a walk or do something and just like not be alone. Make, make plans to go out or something. Yeah. Instead of just moping around. Well, mm -hmm. Either way, you're with each other, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So this is going to be the last section um, of, this, of this questionnaire. Uh, this is related to your environment, your personal bubble, um, whether it's small or large. Um, how satisfied are you with the home, neighborhood, or workplace, and surrounding landscape slash environment where you live? Does it contribute well to your quality of life or challenge it? At home, I'm from Glenview. Uh -huh. I think I feel so safe there. And my home environment is warm and caring and nurturing, as my parents have always been. Mm -hmm. And I feel really, really safe there at school. Champaign isn't as safe of a town. So definitely, I don't feel as safe in that when I'm at school. But mm -hmm. it hasn't hindered my ability to do anything, or especially having a car now. It, makes it easier but yeah you feel like you can get I, around in a, in a safer manner yeah like i would have to take into account oh i'm studying late at the library while well, i have someone to walk with or i'll study at home maybe i wouldn't have studied as much if i stayed at home because of the distractions but now i think i've made it work but <laughs> yeah overall i think my environment <laughs> that i'm living in is really safe and you think it's fruitful to your habits it's fruitful to your lifestyle. Yeah, I do. I think everyone around me in my life has motivated me to be the best that I can be. Be, you, be who you are. The school, my family, my friends. It sounds like it sounds like your environment has done nothing but um, feed every positive aspect of your life. I like to think so. Seems like you're you're sitting in a, a very good spot in your life. On a scale of 1 to 10, how motivated, how motivated are you to changing or developing this aspect of your life? Um, changing or is maintaining part of it? Yeah, of course maintaining is always part of it. Yeah, a 10. Okay. Um, if you are up for some improvement, what is one small action you could take this week to either find out more about changing in this area or to actually make a small behavior change? I don't really think there's anything I can do to change that. 
to you're, be honest. You're already kind of living it. Yeah. It's a, it's a weekly thing that you're, that you're living in it's your environment. Mm -hmm. And you're already happy with it. So yeah. it sounds like. Okay. So this last part. Um, we, we already went through the last section. Uh, I'm going to determine three areas that you are most motivated to change. And after looking at your, uh, your wheel of life, <clears throat> it seems like you are motivated everywhere. <laughs> Um, it's tough to pick three. Uh, you 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 just need to touch up on each part of this wheel in increments, respective increments, um, not to cram too much at one time. Don't don't it wouldn't be good to over overdo your mind. Um, don't ever stress yourself. Uh, growth and development comes comes bit by bit in life, <clears throat> and it seems like you're already you're already a well established person. Who knows how to how, knows how to better themselves? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So after after doing this wheel of life questionnaire, I have noticed that you this, this will all tie back to your original goal that you first spoke to me. That you that you, you freely expressed that one of the things that you wanted to improve in your life was reading more and <clears throat> taking time to dive into the story of the book and immerse your mind into it. Um, all the questions that I've asked you, the answers that you've given me, I think really reflect uh, the improvement that you want to make in terms of reading more. These all touch back to uh, having peace and serenity within your mind. <clears throat> to, uh, to take more time out of your day, take more free time target the things that you want to do mm -hmm. and reading is certainly a free time thing um, unless, if it's leisure reading unless you're doing it for school then you kind of have to um, I really like where you're going with this I think you're on a very good track and I hope after today after the session you find uh, you find it a little easier to, to achieve this goal that you've been wanting to get to. Um, I wish you the best of luck in finding, in finding the first good series to, to dive back into. Uh, Netflix can always wait a little bit. Netflix will always be there. It's easy to just sit there. But it's much more satisfying to finish a book series than uh, a TV show. For some. For some. Um, I wish you the best of luck with your up and coming school. Your school year kids coming up. Um, you're, you're, you're going to really enjoy the summer, uh, uh, in between now and then, um, take, take the time, take your free time to touch on all these aspects that we spoke about today. Take a moment out of your day just to think about your spirituality, your future, your financial, your financial future, where you want to be with your boyfriend in the future, how you want, how you want everything to integrate with each other. That's why this is the wheel of life. They all they all influence each other. Every aspect influences each other. So um, I think that'll about wrap it up for today. It was really nice speaking with you. Thank you. You too. Um, well, I'm always here if you want to come next time for another interview. Okay. I appreciate it. Great, great talking to you.